So you couldn't even fit in the White House bathtub. Wow, that is a fun factoid. Uh, uh, oh, hi folks, sorry about that. I was just having a seance with William Howard Taft. Apparently, it's the hip new way to contact dead former presidents. Also, it's Monday, November 10th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki, welcome to the show. Wasn't that Obama press conference on Friday a little bit weird? Hey, I, I didn't want to get into a Nancy Reagan uh, thing about, you know, doing any seances. Um. Hey, America, now that I'm going to be president, I've got this great joke I've been saving up. But clearly, it was not his jokes that ushered Obama into the Oval Office. If anything, it was Bill Cosby's jokes. The New York Times reports that the Cosby Show which depicted an African-American family as simply an American family, helps to change racial attitudes in America, perhaps paving the way for Obama's election. Also, there was that one episode where Dr. Huxtable said, if I can remember the quote, I think it was something like, uh, You see, Theo, when you go into the voting booth and you pull the lever for the candidate that you want, then you voted for the change you can believe in, you see. Rudy! In other news, this segment was largely an excuse for me to do my impression of the House of Cosby's impression of Bill Cosby. But again, I must reiterate that the incoming Obama administration will not just be an endless stream of humorous anecdotes and canned laughter. No, he will be ushering in the internet to make government more open and more accessible. For example, Wired Magazine reports that he may allow people to comment on bills before he signs them. Now that is truly a great idea. I mean, once he sorts through all the first posts, the Ron Paul repetitions, the mail enhancement advertisements, the dots and dashes shaped like a middle finger, protestations that Obama is an elitist Marxist jihadist, and the inevitable comparison of somebody to Hitler, I'm sure the president will get some really in-depth ideas for improving society. After all, anybody who has a good idea knows the best way to get it into legislation is to write it in a comment on a website. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash Kotegi for more videos. And don't worry, I love your comments. And if you think I'm just being sarcastic, feel free to write an angry comment about it. Right here on Kotegi TV.